G'day guys, Corey Hind, SEO guy, talking about SEO, which really means how to rank higher on Google. A couple of quick things, please subscribe to my channel, that would be wonderful, I appreciate the support. And second of all, please hang around to the finish, because all of this is tied together with one little secret I'll reveal at the finish, that'll make sure that you can get the stuff optimized on your own website. So we're talking about how to use uh, meta titles and meta descriptions to rank higher on Google. So as an SEO guy, when I start a campaign or trying to help somebody rank higher on Google, I'll work through a, a great big checklist of stuff. And some of that uh, is on-page optimization, which is what's on my web page that Google looks at to help me rank high or low. Hopefully we'll rank high. So, and I wanted to do this video now because I've got a couple of new clients in the last couple of weeks and I've done this on-page stuff and it just reminded me how quickly you can elevate up rankings. It's mind-blowing because often you're competing with people who haven't done this stuff. So as soon as you start to tidy up the web page, you'll rank higher. You might not get to the top three or four straight away, but I've taken one client from spot 100 to spot 15 for a key phrase just by doing this stuff plus the little secret at the finish. So let's just roll down a little bit. What is a meta title and what is a meta description? The things that Google look at to help them know where to rank you. So if you look at this little picture down here, obviously one of my websites, one of my web pages. So spot number one, that up the top in a Google search is your URL. So you know the stuff because you see this all the time. Number two there is the meta title. Okay, so that's what you'll see in search engine results. That's something you add to your web page behind the scenes that Google will look at and go, oh, what's this page about? And number three is what's called the meta description. Okay, so when we work through on-page optimization for a page or a website, here are some things that we might look at. We'll look at those titles, look at those descriptions, look at the on-page headings that have been used, we'll look at the images on the page and whether they've been optimized, and we'll look at the structure and content of the page, because all of these things are valuable indicators to Google when they're trying to decide who ranks up the top. But this video is about meta titles and meta descriptions, okay? So what I've written here is really important. Meta titles and descriptions, both of them used together, give Google a huge hint as to what your page is about. Okay, so Google, the Google bot looks around and goes, okay, what is this person searching for? What's out there that matches that search? And they'll look at this meta title and meta description and go, aha, uh -huh, I know what that page is about. It seems relevant. Let's rank it really high. Okay, so we're always looking for the little tweaks we can do to elevate ourselves up the Google search engine results. And meta title, meta description is one of my first activities I'll do because it's quite obvious to me. If I can do the biggest things first on a campaign, my client will see their results are moving. So that's where I'll start. I want the biggest results first and meta titles and meta descriptions often haven't been done. Okay, so, um, you know, I'll do that. It makes sense, right? You want to do those things that have the biggest impact. Sometimes you'll find pages that are, they've got great content and they're built quite well, but their meta titles and meta descriptions aren't optimized so they don't rank well and you you can jump into a page and spend five minutes going back to their keywords that they've got that they want to rank for and applying that to their meta title and meta description in a nice natural way and results come okay now what happens if you haven't got these done what happens if your page is built and this happens all the time because people get a new website but the designer doesn't do seo that happens all the time so the website looks great but it's not ranking because of all of the seo things are done now seo checklists like mine can be 150 things long there's a lot of tasks to do so i just found this little snippet on google which is basically when the google bot that's google search basically can't find your meta title and meta description they basically make it up, okay? So they look at your page and go, what's the H1 heading? And let's grab a paragraph from down there somewhere. And you'll essentially get a random uh, meta title, a meta description on that search engine result. We don't want that because it's out of your control, okay? So as I've written here, don't leave that up to chance. That's way too risky. You wanna optimize it yourself and it's not that hard. If you use WordPress, the two plugins that people use are Yoast and Rank Math. They're both making it really, really easy to do this. They'll just go through and you'd simply insert the words in the right places. Every website has the ability 
to get this done. I've picked up a client recently who uses Joomla, which is a really, really old website management system. But you dig around and you find the meta titles, the meta descriptions, and they've actually got meta tags as well that you can use and get that done. Okay. Now, the secret I referred to at the end, uh, at the start, about the end is, well, what words do you write? okay, in your meta title and your meta description. Well, that's really the essence of SEO. What do you want to rank for on Google? That's the million dollar question. And the answer is that keyword research is your friend. Okay, that's the actual answer. You have to do your keyword research to know what people are searching for, how much search volume there is, and then start building your website based on those phrases because you know that that leads to people who come to your business who are the right people who are becoming customers. So keyword research is the secret. All right, thanks for watching. Hopefully you found that useful. We'll do more on this in the future. If there's any questions on this, just pop them in the comments below. And another reminder, please do subscribe to the channel because it's great fun watching those numbers go up. Cheers, guys. We'll talk soon. Bye for now.